Hello and welcome to another episode of The Metal Evangelist. It's been a long time since I've made a video. There's a lot going on here, but wanted to belt one out quick, do an easy one. Um, I've been collecting vinyl for the past two and a half, maybe three years, and I just wanted to make a quick video to show off my vintage vinyl. These are the ones that um, are the actual original releases from the 80s up till about 1990 um, and beyond and further back that I found online and at record shops so let's just get right to it let's start with the grandfather of them all Black Sabbath Black Sabbath album found this one at Edgartha Records it actually says on it uh, where is that the one that started it all from 1970 on Warner Brothers first Black Sabbath record got that one also have Heaven and Hell, first record with Ronnie James Dio on it. There's a nice picture of the guys on the back. You got Dio, Iomi, I believe, uh, yeah, Bill Ward is still the drummer on this, and Geezer Butler. Awesome record from 1980. And then we got one more Black Sabbath, gotta be the Mob Rules. This is probably my favorite one of theirs from 1980, what is it, doesn't say exactly, 81. This is the one where Vinny Apice played the drums. Great record, Mob Rules. Let's see, let's keep it with Dio. Got some, um, which one was this? The Last in Line, Durr. Not Holy Diver, I got The Last in Line. Found this one at Edgartha in Minneapolis too. Really, you can see the, the badass artwork when it's in this huge vinyl format. You probably can't see it in my video because the lighting in here is so bad, but there's some really cool stuff going on with the cover. So, Dio. Um, got some Anthrax here. Got Among the Living from 1987 on Island Megaforce. There's the dudes on the back. That one's pretty good. Also from Anthrax, this one's floating around. This one's easy to find. The I'm the Man single with I'm the Man censored and Deaf uncensored. And then uh, the cover of Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath, is actually really good. So if you find this one, it's it's kind of worth your time just for that. And then also, before Into the Void closed, they, f they had this sealed copy. I unsealed it because that's what I do. This is Anthrax, Persistence of Time, probably my favorite Anthrax album from 1990. This one's on Island Megaforce. The thing that um, I was kind of miffed about when I opened this is there is no lyric sheet. It's like you get to the early 90s and you know some of these record labels were like, ah, people aren't buying the vinyl as much as the CD, so we won't even bother putting anything in here. So they had a sticker on it though about the songs. So I got some of those. Let's go to some some obscure thrash. I looked most of these up and they're all from 1988. Isn't that weird? Here's a Toxic Shock. German thrash metal. Change from Reality is the name of this one. Came out in 88, like I mentioned, on Metal Blast Records. There's the dudes in the back. This one's pretty damn good. Not Metal Blade. This one's Metal Blast. So, Toxic Shock. Pretty good stuff. Along the same lines, you've got Agony. A band from Sweden. This one's called The First Defiance. This came out on Under One Flag and Combat. Also from 1988. Some good obscure thrash. This one has a little more meaning now that I live in Minnesota. This is a band called Where is it? Disturbed. No, oh, where is it? Here? Haven't done a video in a while, so. This is Disturbed, not the one you're thinking of. Uh, the album's called Disturbing the Peace, and this is a band from 1988, Minneapolis, Minnesota. And this is important because the guitar player in this band, his name is Earl Root, and he ran Root Cellar Records for a very long time up here in the Twin Cities. He also founded the Root of All Evil radio show that still exists today. It's on KFAI FM in Minneapolis. I was actually able to guest on it a couple times so 
He has since passed on, and that record store is closed, but this is kind of a, a cool piece of history from here in the upper Midwest. Next obscure one is a band called Erosion, also from Germany. Mortal Agony is the name of the album. found this one online for, for pretty cheap, and it's got some crazy artwork, and it's actually a really good thrash album. It's got that, you know, that vintage 80s tone that you like to hear. Um, let's go with the one from Chicago, I believe. This is Etrope, Amnesty. This is from 1985. I got this one for cheap, like five bucks. This is on Combat. That's pretty cool. Uh, this band never really got a lot of popularity, so you can find their stuff for cheap if you're looking for it. There's another one here, Etrope, Life of Crime. And this one's cool because it's, it's a die cast cutout, so these guys come out. Wanted to show you since I got some time. These guys come out on the sleeve. You can slam them back in jail. This is some good stuff here from E Troop from Chicago, if I'm not mistaken. And then this is one that people like Toxic World Circus. This came out on Road Racer Records, also 1988. That's a damn good one. How about some stuff you've heard? How about some Iron Maiden? I got. Somewhere in Time. This one came from Into the Void Records. Love the artwork on the back. You can see the guys over here in the corner. Caught Somewhere in Time. And also have Double Album Live After Death. Got this one at Egarta in Minneapolis. And this one's cool because it's a gatefold. Lots of pictures and stuff. So. That one's awesome. Also from Edgartha, I got Taking Over from Overkill. And this one's cool because he had just gotten these in and I ran to the store to buy it because I've been wanting to get this one. And it had two flyers from Old Milwaukee Metal Fest in there and like directions how to get to the fest. These are the ones before I started going in 1996, but that's still pretty cool. So Overkill taking over. It's got the heaviest song from 1987 I've ever heard, which is Deny the Cross. Oh, here, let's go back in time with some with some Rainbow. Richie Blackmore's Rainbow from 1975. Richie Blackmore, Ronnie James Dio on vocals. Good stuff. Also have Rainbow Rising. This one's a gatefold. Pretty cool. And this one's almost over. We got... Motorhead, Orgasmatron, and it looks like my kids are waking up, so I'll quickly show you the last one and turn this off. This is why I don't make videos, because I have freaking kids. Megadeth, Killing is My Business, and Business is Good, Vintage from 1985 on Combat Records. Alright, I'm going to cut this one short. Hopefully there will be more videos in the future. Thanks for watching The Metal Evangelist.